Approximately two and a half million travelers are crossing structurally deficient bridges right here in the Hudson Valley each and every day. 329 bridges of the region's 2500 bridges are rated in poor or structurally deficient conditions. That means 13% of the bridge decks and supports are significantly deteriorating. A startling report released Tuesday by TRIP, a Washington, D.C.-based national transportation research group. Westchester Business Council officials say bad bridges can have a significant impact on daily life. It shows a commitment that we as a state uh, uh, understand how important it is for businesses to know that whether it's manufacturing or retail or others that they can get from point A to point B. 17 bridges in Westchester made the list. And by the way, 18 other bridges in Orange and Rockland counties are also listed among the worst in the state. News 12's Blaze Gomez has more from Goshen. Aging infrastructure. It's a constant battle. That could be putting Hudson Valley drivers at risk. I don't think that the, the motoring public realize what they travel over. Nearly two dozen bridges in Orange and Rockland County are now reportedly among the worst in the state, rated poor and structurally deficient by the nonprofit transportation organization TRIP. These bridges you know, vary in condition from the decks to the supporting members that are there. The report lists this bridge on Mill Street in Newburgh, which was built in the late 1800s as the worst in Orange County. And here's likely why. From the side, you could see stones appear to be loose and out of place while the bridge remains open. If you neglect it or you don't continue to, to fund the effort, it, it will go in the wrong direction. Transportation expert John Cooney says despite the alarming findings, the bridges are regularly maintained by local and state governments and considered safe. Cooney says the purpose of the report is to show that despite the best efforts, millions of dollars more are needed to make all of the structural repairs. In Goshen, Blaze Gomez, News 12. Thank you, Blaze. And New York ranked 12th for the worst bridges in the nation. Rhode Island took the top spot among the worst, and Texas ranked the best with only 1% of their bridges in disrepair.